Well, hey everybody, Leslie here. Um, coming to you today from Cover Letter Secrets class and the Paralegal Inner Circle class. If you're on YouTube, links are below and there are also links for the Paralegal Resource Hub. And if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to scroll below, just scroll down and you will see the Paralegal Resource Hub, which is totally no charge. And you just have to sign up and you can access some incredible videos and information. And also you can see the classes if you scroll further down, Paralegal Inner Circle class and the cover letter secrets class, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about a question that I had on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, when you're in that first job, and this happened to me, and it's happened to many um, people, my first job was not where I wanted to, the type of work I wanted to do, and uh, my my title, if you if you want to say that, but I wanted to work as a paralegal, but I was working as a legal secretary, legal receptionist, file clerk, errand runner, shopper, you know, um, I ordered all the office supplies and all that, and ordered snacks. I would go pick all that up. So what happens when you're in that first job and you really love the work, but your starting position, your salary, it's low. That's, that's normal. And then you're being offered a job all of a sudden after, let's, let's make up a time frame. after four months or six months, you're being offered a job as a full-time paralegal in another firm in an area of law that you've never worked in um, should you take it well it's a personal choice based on what well number one should you put in some extra time in that first job again these are choices for me in order for me to make it worth my while to drive 40 miles one way, my choice was to move to another job so I could make more money. And I raised my own salary by doing that. And I was working in an area of law that I thought would be interesting. I went from uh, an, a very obscure area of law called condemnation litigation eminent domain into personal injury, which is, you know, very well known area. And probably I would, I would be more marketable with the skills I obtained working in that arena. But honestly, the skills I obtained at the first job and the second made me very marketable to most attorneys, okay? Most law firms or, you know, if I wanted to go into corporate, I could. Um, once, just a, a side note, once you do any type of litigation, preparing for trial, it makes you very valuable as an employee. You cannot forget that because you need to not have that doubt running rampant here because you won't be able to uh, ask for the money that you need. Now, with only six months under your belt, if that's the case, you won't be able to trade up to you know, a much higher dollar amount, but with a year or two under your belt, especially two years, you'll be able to trade up to a different job. However, if the area of law in that first job that you're working in is so interesting to you and it lights your fire, boy, that's, that's yes, that's a hard decision. Uh, they're not going to give you increments of $5,000 raises every year. Okay, so understand that. Um, it just doesn't happen usually in the paralegal, in this marketplace. So the way to raise your salary is to switch positions, but you may want to stay in the same area of law if you are really enjoying it. The thing is, I would highly recommend that if you can, that you take my um, paralegal inner circle class because within that module within that class there is the interview module 
and much more. You need to check it out and the link will be below if you're on Facebook or YouTube. Just scroll down on Facebook or on YouTube, you look for the link for that class. Um, the other thing is if you need help with your cover letter and you aren't getting callbacks, then you need to take the cover letter secrets class, okay? That's a little side note. And again, scroll down on Facebook or look in the description box if you're on YouTube. These decisions are your personal decisions. In my book, Legal Break-In, I talk about, you know, working in an area of law that suits your personality, but that suits you, that what are your interests? Don't just throw it to the wind. I did that in the beginning. I had no clue there were hundreds of areas of law. So if you're mystified by that, if you're on my YouTube channel, you can look for, um, a playlist I have here for different areas of law okay and run through that but also do Google research on different areas of law that paralegals work in okay and see what they do does that interest you some areas of law I have no interest in I have no interest in working in insurance defense but other people that I know love it so I no, I don't like workers compensation I did work in it I don't like it but other people thrive on working those cases so um, work in an area that absolutely lights your fire but you need to know how to interview properly so that you don't go from the frying pan into the fire, that you know what you're getting into at the next law firm as much as possible. You can get up to 90%. Watch my video um, from, let's see, when, today's Friday. I think I did it on Wednesday. Just watch the previous video, okay, for sure, to um, and take notes, okay? Use your notebook. My notebook is buried over here somewhere or I left it at no it's at the house so any questions or comments at all post um, on Facebook you can post right under this video on YouTube post below and ask questions things that are bothering you things you wish you knew this question was coming from a person in the first first position it was not a paralegal position it was like me Okay, in my first position, um, I decided after six months, actually at the seventh month, that I would leave. I had landed a job in personal injury. Yes, that taught me a lot. I immediately started working cases. And yes, I was flying by the seat of my pants and I was asking some other paralegals um, in, associated with different firms. Uh, that were on the same floor we were on, I would run to them and go, could you just give me some pointers on how to do X, Y, Z? And and they were kind of amazed that I didn't know how to do it. But there, right at that point in my career, which was the beginning in the 90s, there, were, there was no internet. And now you have all that. And that's something you have to be, uh, you have to be faithful to use in your career okay it's important so that is it for today you know think about you know uh, what I said about my book legal break-in I go over areas of law that might fit your personality this is really important don't forget that what lights you up if you don't know or you haven't even thought about it and you're in the middle of school or uh, an online certificate program or you're just gonna go into the career without any of that which is totally fine um, then use Google First of all, look at the playlist on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook and you're like, what YouTube channel? It's called Paralegal Career Mastermind. And that's my channel. And look for the playlist, which will have, um, oh, several videos on different areas of law and a little bit about each of those, okay? Um, but Google is a great resource for that. All right, so that's it for today. Have a great day. Questions, comments, post them. And it helps other people when you do that, okay? And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.